and uh, they each won one each the first one was won by Caps United and then Dynamo's won last weekend when Chitio produced the wonder goal to win uh, the Bob 91 uh, here at the same venue a wonderful afternoon for weather cloud cover no rain threats at all but uh, certainly you have to go all the way back in time as we see the Dynamo's lineup Tendera Matenga Tendera Matea Matea Unga comes on Nigel Gandari from uh, ZLP but of course uh, he is Dynamo's junior Eli Elisha Mloyu a blessing more Quad Ramini and uh, Milton Makopa alongside um, Kanga uh, some of the veterans Hilary Madzwanyika coming in from Highlanders Crispin Mauchisi has always been a substitute but today comes in in the first lineup to not end Muskwe Kudzai Nyamukuguza some of the players we are used to seeing playing for Caps United is likely to be a blockbuster encounter. These uh, two sides have fielded what I would call new look sides, but no doubt whenever they meet, the battle is so intense and uh, we, there is no difference at all. And uh, the first uh, uh, 11 is uh, fielded. In the commentary box with me is uh, Spencer Nyamadzao as our match analyst. Good afternoon, Spencer. Good afternoon, Mr. Stanley, and to you via the room, of course, yes, indeed. Uh, Another debut delight, debut delight three. Dana was pitting, taking on Caps United. Like rightfully say, no matter who the field, it will always be a tough game for those players on the on the field of play. The expectations of both sets of crowds, they always want a win. And that's what makes football interesting. And that's what makes this derby special. Because it comes with a lot of pressure for the players. Yes, indeed. As the referee gets out of the way, Caps United kicking us off. They are playing from right to left, uh, defending the body end in all green and attacking the city end. Dynamos uh, in their traditional blue, away to our left, defending this, that city end and attacking the body end. They have always played like this. They love these colors, green and blue. And of course, this is the great divide that you find in the capital. Dynamos now, Gandari guiding it backwards. Young to not Mateaunga laying it forward. Dynamo's looking comfortable by Caps United. Tenacious on the tackle at that time. Road illegal is going to be a free kick, which Dynamo's take quickly. Play to the far side. Hard running coming in from Quadramini. Good building as well from Caps United. Tonga Chone. Long, long stretching ball forward. And of course, this one will go out of play for a goal kick, which uh, the young Dynamo's goalkeeper will take. Or is he going to call on someone to take it? The Dynamo's captain of the day is Oscar Machapa. Uh, Machapa, of course, uh, always comes in from the bench for the first team as we see there. Caps United, uh, George Miranda, the Malawian, playing for safety, was under pressure. Leslie Moyo, another notable player for Dynamos, is a first team regular. But of course, last weekend he wasn't in action. As we take a glimpse of uh, Mark Harrison, the Caps United gaffer, here's the Chapa. Patrick Kumbola beaten, but then uh, the ref blows. He thinks that uh, he was impeded. So he benefits from that as we take a look at uh, the incident. I think the boot was a bit too high this center. It was a bit high there by Charles Montero, and uh, the animals get a first uh, chance to get a, a tasted goal with about uh, 40 yards away from the goal line of uh, Itai Chora. Let's see how they can take this free kick behind the ball. You go Kadi Amini as well as Blessing Moyo. Yes, we do know that Blessing Moyo can hit them hard. Amini has got a sweet left foot. And they are both poised for a strike at goal. To give Young Chuara a few anxious moments. Here is Kadrami. Takes it right into the wall. And the wall has done its job. The back pass. That's the captain Oscar Machapa. But turns away from two markers. Shielding the ball very well. Moyo. Back to the Dynamo's captain, a good looking header! And that one taken away by Chuara. Lovely cross. Good the cross header. there from Oscar Machapa and Eric Opuku couldn't really direct his head on target, but it was a good ball from Oscar Machapa. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, Eric Opoku is the Dynamo's trialist uh, from Ghana. Played for Asante Kotoko. Giving a taste of Zimbabwean football as Milton Makopa picks up possession. Plays it forward. Good defensive work by George Niren. Keeping a tight rein on the movements of uh, Patrick Kumbola. He's seeing some action today in the absence of uh, Simba Niwi, formerly Stolle. Dynamo's defenders knocking the ball around among themselves. Just quite content in keeping possession. Ball is out. Throw in once more to Dynamo's. Lysham Roy were partnering uh, Nigel Gandari. Oh, that was a good dummy. And the cross was oh, just wide of goal. My goodness, Dana was creating chances, Patrick, but failing to put them away. Kumbula with the net to beat, failing to direct his head on target. A lovely left swift cross that came through. And there was the cross and Kumbula failing to just to direct his head on target. Oh, it was easier to but score than miss. A chance goes back in for Dynamos. A question should be asked about the Caps United defence. This is the second header inside the box. Loose marking from the Caps United defence, not uh, marking tight in the box. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dynamos pick up possession. Kumbula! Oh, oh yes, he a goal! It had what, to go in. What a goal from Kumbula. He redeemed himself after missing that chance. Stanley, he took it on the volley. Again, you talked of the camp's defense. They gave the animals too much room and they were punished. Severely punished by Patrick Kumbula. There is the pass. Waited for it. A oh, lovely volley. The goalkeeper was still backpedaling. He was given acres too of much, space. Too much space there from the Caps defenders. And Mboma, as he's known, punishes Caps United. Patrick Mboma Kumbula gets Dynamos on the scoreboard. So the score and raise Dynamos one as they... The <laughs> Dombolo dance, dance. The Dombolo dance. And the blue side of the capital is celebrating. It's the semi-final of the Commander ZNA Charities Soccer Shield. The other one is taking place in Bulawayo between Haumain and Highlanders. Blessing more, you're fighting for possession. Machapa takes it away. Ball guided backwards by United. Caps. They've got Mirenda. Good control as they try to put forward Caps United. Yeah, exposing the ball. And it's finally out. And you can hear in the background. The Dynamo's fans bursting into their anthem already. Clad in all blue, just like the team. Who can deny them the glory in these early minutes? Their team has taken the lead. Of course, he spoke of Caps United giving Dynamo's too much room. And again, they're playing second fiddle. They're playing second fiddle of the ball. Dynamo's playing a good passing game. And Caps are always reactive. Looks like, the, oh, look at the city end. Long faces. Deathly silence. Who says it's going to be like that until the end of the match? There's still a long way to go. It's understandable. They have to be concerned. Once again, this is Mukanga. Taking the ball away. Opoku Tiganayan. A lovely pass. Mukanga guiding it onto the far side. Picked up by Kadramin Kumbola. He's easily taken away now. The Caps United goalkeeper Chuara will clear. Gandari. But I mean, can't quite keep the ball in play and it goes out of play. And Stanley, you've got to look at the Dynamo's back four. We've got Amin on the left back, bless him on the right back. We've got Muroyo and Gandari. These are, these are, it's a solid back four. Six players. I mean, Nigel Gandari is a utility back and also in the defensive link. Gandari having seen lots of action with ZRP in Division 1. He's always been an outstanding player. Muroiwa relishing the occasion to show David Yohan and uh, Tondera Indiraya 
that he can fit into the first team as well. It looks like there's uh, stiff competition in the Dynamo's lineup. Who could tell that uh, this is a heavily depleted uh, Dynamo side? I mean, just goes to the amount of depth Dynamo's have in their lineup. Caps United taking time to settle down into their groove. They do have experienced players as well in the form of Matsuanyika Hillary, who came from Highlanders. And of course, uh, Longola Ahoka, jersey number three for Caps United. He's uh, a Congolese. He comes from DRC. He's here on trial as well. And the two trialists are Janamo's jersey number 10 and the Caps United jersey number three, marking each other out. He's a Devi Ogimandigora and his team on the bench, satisfied so far. Good cut out there by the big defender. Dynamo's lose possession. United pick it up much easy. Forward. Does it get very far? Didn't. This will be taken by Blessing Moyo. The Ghanaian playing it wide. Kumbola, the goal scorer. A little player, if only he can improve on his uh, fitness. Patrick Kumbula can be quite a thorn in the flesh to many defenders. And on that occasion, Valentine Sarurwa did well. Here is Milton Makopa. And uh, Sarurwa once again. Snuffing out Janamo's time in again. Filling in the boots of uh, Muchenje. Kanga. Getting past this marker, trying from afar, that's a hopeless effort. Straight out for a goal kick. He done well to beat his marker. I don't know why he allowed a rush of blood to his head there. An ambitious Spencer. try, trying his chances. And, uh, he's one player that's very a good player. But at times he goes out, he, he goes in a shell. I think it's a matter of just him bursting out of confidence and coming to, to try and play well for the animals. The animals at the moment, I must say, they are always the first to the ball and Mark Harrison there should be worried about the approach that his players have taken and understandably he's not happy definitely he's see. not happy of course he was also not happy that Debbie number three in a space of a month and really takes out a lot of, out of these players indeed playing uh, your rivals like Dynamos it's always very difficult Oscar Machapa but uh, snapped out by Captain United Miranda being put under pressure there. The, oh, the referee says play on the two players down injured. And thanks. The ball goes out to play. That was uh, Kumbola Patrick. But you like the way Kumbola puts in so much effort. Look at the way he gave up that chase. He never gave up that ball and he kept on chasing that ball. Yes, indeed. Uh, you would like to be recognized as one of the top players. Is United guide the ball back. Miranda playing alongside uh, Charles Mutero. Long clearance. And uh, Royo will allow that one all the way back to the goalkeeper. We haven't really been tested this afternoon. He has not been tested. A lot of they have not given supply to Ishmael Tindro, who's playing out front. But I must say, for Caps United, Kudza Nyampu Kudza has really impressed me. The way he's dictated pace in the middle of the park. Comes Kumbula to the far side. Card Ramin. Ganamos now try to exploit all the spaces. The Ghanaian Opoku. Ball guided backwards. Good possession football from the Glamour Boys. Here they come now. Blessing to the captain Machapa. A round of applause for every good move by their multitude of fans here to Faro Stadium. One twist, then the other way. Snapped away now by Caps United, Chiwara. Sarod White was, and then it comes all the way back to the Dynamo's goalkeeper. We're quite happy to keep possession. They've got a front foot now. One ball in the lead, Patrick Kumbula. Early on. Here's Machapa. 
it goes down under challenge the referee says play on good advantage kept united couldn't uh, take advantage of that situation and this one will roll out of play in front of uh, ahoka the congolese who takes a throw but no he leaves it now for his right back Skeps United drift into the center. Jin were taking too long to line up a shot. United with a cross and nobody home for them. That one will go out of play on the far side. It was a good cross from each team, but of course, the uh, rushing midfielders we couldn't get to the end of that. Good side, to get there, as well as to not end up uh, square. Yes, indeed. He hasn't really made a good impression so far, Matsuanyika, despite all his experiences. Uh, Kept United now are going forward. This is a good move, Tintra. But straight to the Dynamo's goalkeeper. Watched it all the way. Made a routine save like a good goalkeeper. But now, this is the Ghanaian. Queuing up a shot. Wonderful! Oh! 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 Oh, what a goal! He has left, set, let Rufaro alight. Good goal there from the Ghanaian Eric Opoku. Stanley, out of this world. That was out of this world. Eric Opoku, I noticed from his touches, he looks very comfortable on the ball. Dazzle the captain added. Look at that. Took well, One took way. the left footer. Opoku. He must have been here last weekend watching Chitio. That is a that is a typical lift from Ron Kitio spoke. I tell you, he has got his job if he has on tells. That's a goal that gives one a job that. And life becomes very difficult for Caps United. Coming back from two goals down. The Dynamo's players looking rampant. And a positive headache for David Yogim and Igora. You begin to wonder who is he going to drop in the next match when the other players it's come a, back. It's a positive headache. I mean if you've got brilliant players like this and uh, even if you look at it, the way his ball control, the way he takes on the ball, he's, has, he's got good ball control, Stanley. Brilliant control. Good work rate. And he's got an eye for ball. Opoku, welcome just, to Zimbabwe. Just playing behind the striker waiting, there. We're still waiting for the Congolese to explode on the scene. He's the man that's been tasked to take care of uh, the Ghanaian. So far, he, the job hasn't been done, but... Uh, United briefly picking possession, but it's taken away. Dynamos, this is Blessing Moyo. Guiding it backwards. To Quadra, I mean, confirmation of the scoreline. 2 0, Dimbara in the lead. And that one goes out of play. Carlos failing to keep the ball in play on that occasion. But the throw will come from Caps United with a heavy disadvantage. Long clearance from the Dimbara defenders. If there's one thing about uh, Dynamo's style of play, uh, Spencer, that I've noticed, the first thing they do is they fortify their defense. Yes, indeed, and uh, they are quick at that. And, uh, and that's a good observation, Stanley. Because whatever they do, they don't allow you inside their box. And those players playing in defense don't move out unnecessarily. Blessing Moyo, one of the few that will go through and has produced a good pass. Kumbola, he doesn't have the pace. And that one is out for a goal kick. The idea was good there from Blessing Moyo, but it was a bit too long. Taking out this team out of Kumbola. Gets United now. Mutero. Pumping it forward. And uh, the young Dynamo's goalkeeper protected. Before shaping up as if to throw, but decided against it. And finally, playing it towards his captain who's bitten in the air. Opoku, tightly monitored by Hilary Matsuanyika. And that one out of play. Shoma Zwanyika.
just been instructed to take care of the Ghanaian. He's causing all sorts of problems in midfield. Really a match being played at a fast tempo. Good shielding. United. That's the player I was talking about, Stanley. Nyampukidze. He's very good on the ball. Indeed, but then it looks like he's fighting a long battle, and in the end, that one goes out of play. Teams are complaining. Far side assistant referee not interested. And still the green side of the capital fuming at the referee and his assistants. Ball played back once more to the Dynamo's goalkeeper. The Dynamo's team, of course, uh, actually have got the luxury of uh, benching the likes of Seket and company. They are not regulars in the first team. Machapa fitting very well into this side. A good play on the far side, but offside, according to the near side assistant referee, Kad Ramin, straying into an offside position. Good call <laughs> there from the near side assistant. Yes, he was just in front here. And uh, he should have uh, held on his run, but he wanted to go for the ball trail. And a good call from the near side assistant. Really good call. Staying with his line. Yes, you are up. To Miranda, the skipper. Played long by Chioresto. But Dynamos easily take it away. Their passing is giving them lots of breath. The ball is picked up by Quad Ramin. He's playing more and more upfield. Kanga brought down by Hilary Majuanika. Majuanika now slowly. Getting back into the game, but there it is. That was a cl clumsy challenge. Yeah, yes, indeed. I think he lost his foot in there and just clipped him, Kanga, uh, accidentally. And uh, the referee rightly saw giving the free kick to Dynamos. Charles Rousseau going forward to Adramin. Rousseau once again turns in field. Rosera on creating space. Here is the Ghanaian, but again taken away. Kumbula guides it wide. Rushed his shot in all the time he needed, but he rushed his shot and he failed to get a good curl on the ball. But again, kept are giving Dynamo so much room, Stanley. Yes, he did so much room. Kumbula could not uh, direct his angled shot. But you see, uh, that was too far ahead of him. That's going to be a throw in. Oh, that was a dangerous approach there by uh, Machisi. But blessing Moyo, there it is. Uh, the two young players didn't want to pull back. Exactly, yes. They nearly injured one another on that occasion, but luckily nobody was injured. Moroiwa. Looking for Quad Ramin, formerly of uh, FC Platinum. Before that, he played for Gunners. I can say that he's still fighting for international honors. League winner with Gunners. Yes. Won the league, of course, and played in the Champions League, beating the likes of Al Akhli. Kat Ramin has got a decorated uh, career. Blessing more. Exchanging passes to this captain as Dynamos now play possession football. Kanga. Roywa. Rosere trying to glide past this marker, he can't, but again, the lucky bounce wasn't long. It's taken back by Muskwe. It's not end. There's one to watch from the Caps United outfit. It's a pity. When you're playing on a losing side, your brilliance is difficult to see. Another ball played through. Muskwe now drifting into the area, brings in the cross, but cleared away. 
by the combined Dynamo's defense of Roywa and Gandari. Muskwe still trying to find space and it's cleared away. will come from the far side as the Vietnam end is still in full voice two goals to nil Dynamo's in the lead Captain I did now trying to tighten the screw Miranda the Malawian we do have quite a an international feel here at Rufaro Stadium we have a Malawian a Congolese and a Ghanaian Kanga puts it out for a throw into Caps United. Of course, doing well, but we need to scout the uh, Ghanaian market because we, they are known to produce great players. Oh, yes, indeed. But this time around, they seem to have picked up what I would call one of the best players from the Ghanaian outfit. We had George Owusu, who played for these two teams. He yes, was indeed. an equally good player. Played in the Champions League right after the final with Ghanaian. And it will be interesting to see if Okoku will stay that long and possibly help Gimbare because their aim, season in, season out, is to win the league championship. Miranda now keeping a tight rein on the movement of uh, Patrick Kumbula. Boyo all the way back to his goalkeeper. He hasn't really been uh, brought into action. Because yes, it the was kept up like a 4 5 1 formation, and the team doesn't have enough supply going up front. Yes, indeed, that's uh, the main handicap is that they're not winning the midfield battle. Sarah has just won that one. Out of play, throw in to Caps United. I must say, Caps United haven't thrown in the towel at all. They're still in with a fighting chance. Definitely, they're still in with a fight as they warm up their bench. Looks like uh, it's bleeding. Yeah, there's a Dynamo player injured. He has to come off. Moreira, of course, and one hopes that is nothing serious because uh, Yogi and company would like to make tactical substitutions, and uh, Moreira had settled in very well in the Dynamo defense. Definitely, and the law stipulates that if a player is bleeding, he's going to leave the field of play and be attended to. Mail from Makofa. To Okoku the Ghanaian. Blessing Moyo finding his captain. The through ball. Miranda. Oh. Tripping Miranda himself. Getting himself in all sorts of trouble. Uh, it's understandable. He's worried about this uh, Ghanaian player. The goal he scored reminded them of uh, Ronald Chitio. And at some stage, Yogi might have to play these two together certainly it makes up uh, his outfit very difficult to mark Musque penalized and that will be uh, a free kick to Dimbare Patrick Kumbula Mboma yeah it is actually Charles Untero who was uh, penalized so the animals with a chance of a free kick it's a long way off Right to our score bless line. Him, bless him, we can take this one. He's a very good dead ball specialist. Good technique of hitting the ball, the answer. But I don't see him trying to shoot from that sort of distance. Let's see. Blessing boy. Oh, he does. And it goes over. Corner kick. A bit ambitious is my by my book. Here it comes. Oh, the defender did very well. Good interception there. Good interception on that occasion. Yam Fukuta being forced to play more and more as a defender when in fact he should be attacking more and more so that uh, United can pull one back and possibly find an equalizer thereafter. 
who knows by the end of the game things could be very different here comes the corner now with an iron again Opoku over the crossbar for me Opoku has given so much space towards the free header he could have directed his header on target but again he failed to take there we see the corner kick again we see Opoku coming there too much space given there by his opposite uh, by, by the by number three from caps that's Ohoka the uh, Congolese can see the two imposts to Zimbabwe always side by side Ohoka and Opoku this time Muskoe has got possession United now pushing forward trying from afar but then uh, Caps United player was caught offside so that will be throwing in as we see the Danos player completing the formalities before going back on the field of play. Roywa is back on. The animals are back to their full complement of 11 players on the field of play. As we approach the half hour mark here in the, ZN, in the Commander's RNA Charity Shield between Caps United and Dynamos. This is the RRW, of course. George Nirenda. Machisi has been very quiet this afternoon. Butero. United now coming forward. Matsuanyika taking time to control. That one just kept in place. Padra Amin stands his ground. Zanyika to Ohoka on trial for United. The Malawian Irenda lays it square for Mutero. Kwadramin. Good interception by Nyamfukudza. Again, he's been playing very well, Nyamfukudza. The pity most of the time he's being pushed in defense. Good play by Tintua. The cross comes in, nobody home for United. Rusere has all the time to clear, but it's intercepted once again by Caps United. Edge of the area, and uh, the two. Oh, that one was very a, close. Corner kick. It could that have could have been an own goal, goal by Walter, <laughs> Walter Kanga. Kanga. Was that all Caps United Rusere failing to clear the lines? Yes, indeed. Kanga very nearly beating his own goalkeeper with that effort. And he counts himself very lucky. It goes wide, but the danger is not over yet. Here comes the chance. The clearance, Caps United have scored. Yes, Kepsi Kepsi right back in it. Good perseverance from Caps United. They lifted their game. They didn't give up. So it still came on here. And the green side of the capital is up as we take a look at the corner. Ah, oh, yes. It went over the line. It did go over the line, and it's game on here. The restart. It's Milton Makofa now. Lots of noise coming in from the Caps United supporters. It's now a carnival atmosphere here at Trofaro Stadium. Two goals to one. We're still in the first 45 minutes. Machapa goes down injured. Confirmation of 